my own feelings are that the, the better, there were one or two exceptions to this, the, the better twilight zones were those that were set in the mundane reality of today's world and then took off into the twilight zone in a drugstore, on a small town street, in a small town carousel, in a park, something painfully real to all of us, and then went off into uh, the twilight zone. And I thought those stories affected me the most, rather than those were, that were set a hundred years hence or a thousand years hence. And I thought the, the perfect twilight zone uh, started intriguingly in that kind of a mundane, mundane setting, but also ended with some kind of a kick, um, the so-called unexpected kick. Um, the person who has an adventure in the twilight zone of some extraordinary, to some extraordinary degree, and then comes back to small town American reality and thinks, well, I just had this wild dream, except that he's got something on his shoe that tells you that he was actually in the Twilight Zone. So those kickers at the end really made perfect Twilight Zones.